We got Squatch. We got Sudsy Bear. Let's get it on. So I've been using Dr. Squatch now for about two and a half years or so. And for the most part, I like them pretty well. I've made a slew of reviews on their products if you want to check them out on my channel. And I've even done a rankings video where I rank all 33 of their scents. That was, of course, before they released their 34th scent, Coconut Castaway, in which I also made a review for that one as well, if you'd like to check that one out. And recently, someone introduced me to a competitor of Dr. Squatch's that also does men's natural soap, Sudsy Bear. So I tried out a lot of their soaps, and I think they're really good as well as Dr. Squatch. Which, of course, leads to the next question. Which one is better between Squatch and Sudsy Bear? And I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I think now. So I have 11 of the same scents that are done by Dr. Squatch and Sudsy Bear. And I'm going to put them side by side and tell you which one I think is better. I'm primarily going to judge by scent and secondarily by ingredients and texture. Now before we get started with the side by side comparisons, I just wanted to say that both Dr. Squash and Sudsy Bear are both very good companies and you can find a lot of good products on both of their sites. But with that in mind, I'm going to tell you which one I think is a little bit better. And if you have not yet tried Sudsy Bear, you can go to their website, place an order, and get 20% off by using promo code WELCOMESB20. Also, in the description, I'm going to leave a link you can click on to get a $5 off coupon in addition to the 20% off promo code. So now let's get ready for round one. Round one, Dr. Squatch Frosty Peppermint versus Sudsy Bear Arctic Peppermint. Here's Squatch's Peppermint and Sudsy Bear's Peppermint. They both smell really good, but Sudsy Bear wins because this scent lingers longer and it's stronger. What was my biggest complaint about Squatch's Frosty Peppermint is how weak it is in the shower. When I reviewed Frosty Peppermint on my other videos, what did I say? I said that it had to have more ingredients and not be such a flat surface. All they did was put a swirl design on there to make up for the lack of ingredients. Where Sudsy Bear, you can see they put ingredients in there and that is exactly what this bar is missing. So Sudsy Bear gets the point on round one. All right, round two, Dr. Squatch Cool Fresh Aloe, Sudsy Bear Fresh Clean Aloe. This one's really good from Squatch. This one's also really good from Sudsy Bear. They both have really good ingredients. They both smell really good. This one is very, very close. I could go either way, but I think I'm going to choose Sudsy Bear by a hair because this scent is a tad stronger, but it could have just as easily been a draw. This one's not that much better, but just a tad stronger to make a slight difference. But I'm glad to use both of these, and in this round, there's really no loser. Round three, Dr. Squatch Wood Barrel Bourbon, Sudsy Bear Woody Maple Bourbon Scrub. Now, any of you who have watched my Dr. Squatch reviews know Wood Barrel Bourbon is my second favorite scent in the entire catalog. So I love this bar. This one's going to be hard to beat. So when I read reviews on Sudsy Bear's website that this one is even better than Dr. Squatch's version, I had high expectations and I was really looking forward to trying this one. But I have to say, this was a huge letdown. This one does not compare to Squatch's Wood Barrel Bourbon. And I'll tell you why is because they added a slight tone of vanilla and orange citrus. And vanilla and orange citrus do not go with bourbon. Squatch's version doesn't have any kind of vanilla or citrus, or at least I can't detect any. I really don't think there's any of that here, and that's for good reason, because citrus and vanilla don't belong on a bar of bourbon soap. It's just not a good combination. So round three, this one's not even close. Dr. Squatch wins. And if you haven't tried Dr. Squatch's Wood Barrel Bourbon, I highly recommend you do. 
And for round four, Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum versus Sudsy Bear's Bear Rum. I really like the scent of Dr. Squatch's Bay Rum. I think it's really good. The problem that I've talked about in the reviews for this bar is that the scent seems to get weaker when you lather it up and use it in the shower. Most of the Dr. Squatch bars get stronger when you lather them up, but for some reason, this one seems to have the opposite effect. But it does have a good scent. So I really like the scent. I just wish it was stronger once you lather it up. Now, Sudsy Bear's Bear Rum, it smells very similar to Bay Rum. There's not a lot of difference, but like the citrus that was added in the bourbon bar that I just went over in round three, there's also a slight citrus tone added to this Bear Rum, and I don't like that. But what's better about the Bear Rum than the Bay Rum is that this one is a little stronger. And it does smell good, but Squatch's version smells slightly better. So who wins round four? Honestly, Bay Rum smells better. Bear Rum is a little stronger. So I'm going to have to give this one a draw. Both good bars, but not great. If Bay Rum was stronger, it could be great. And if Bear Rum didn't have that slight citrus scent, I think this one could be great. If you like citrus added to all of your bars, then you may really like Bear Rum. But I personally don't want citrus on all of my bars. All right, round five, Dr. Squatch's Cedar Citrus versus Sudsy Bear Citrusy Cedar Wood. And the problem I always had with Dr. Squatch's Cedar Citrus is that the scent is just not very strong at all. It's not a bad scent. It's just very, very subtle. It's very weak. There's like no scent to it at all. Sudsy Bear's version? I smell this citrus. This is when you want to put the orange citrus in your bars. The orange citrus on this bar fits really well. And this one absolutely dominates this one. Hands down, Sudsy Bear wins this round. And it's not even close. This is how I expected Squatch's Cedar Citrus to smell. So when I actually tried this for the first time, I was really disappointed. Because there's hardly any scent there. It smells more like cedar than citrus, which it is called cedar citrus, but I just assumed that there was going to be a citrus scent, and there really isn't. It's almost like it's completely dominated by cedar, which really doesn't have much of a scent. Sudsy Bear's version, on the other hand, you can smell a slight tone of cedar, but it's dominated by the citrus that's really good. And this is a bar that you want to use your orange citrus on, not on a bourbon scent. Round six, Dr. Squatch's Wisdom Wash versus Sudsy Bear's Grinch Scrub. Okay, these do have different names, but they are essentially the same scent. That's why I'm putting them head to head against each other. I really like this Wisdom Wash. It's a very strong citrusy lime scent. And it works really well with this. Grinch Scrub also has a strong citrus scent. And it is limey as well. But, and I hate to keep bringing this up, but he added orange, an orange undertone. And I think it takes away. I don't like it as much. So, in my opinion, Dr. Squatch wins this round for Wisdom Wash. I feel like this scent is a little more dominant and a little more consistent. This scent isn't bad. It, it's pretty good. It's just that you have the lime and the orange, and they can go together pretty well. But in this case, I just think if he did not have the orange added, that it would have made this one stand out a little more. I actually think that Grinch Scrub looks better, but in this case, I don't think it really matters because this scent is just that good. All right, round seven, Dr. Squatch's Grapefruit IPA versus Sudsy Bear's Twisted Grapefruit. Now, both of these bars are really good. I really do like Squatch's Grapefruit IPA. 
The first one, I smelled this one. I really hated it, but it's grown on me, actually. I really like it a lot now. And although I really like Dr. Squatch's Grapefruit IPA, I have to say that Sudsy Bear's Twisted Grapefruit is just on another level. It really smells like fresh cut citrus. It smells like grapefruit and tangerine. And look at the ingredients. It's like you can see little shreds of grapefruit in there. This just looks like such an authentic bar of soap. This is just on an entirely different level. So even though I really like Squatch's Grapefruit IPA, I give this round to Sudsy Bear's Twisted Grapefruit. Not because there's anything wrong with this one, but just because this one is so good. But honestly, you should go ahead and just try both. All right, time for round eight. Dr. Squatch's Bow Chicka Wow Wow versus Sudsy Bear's Getting Lucky. Now these bars have the exact same scent, which is chocolate covered strawberries. But what Squatch does, they focus on putting in a fragrance and some fancy pink color while Sudsy Bear focuses more on the ingredients. They actually have organic pulverized strawberries in this bar. And the chocolate smells authentic as well. This one is so much more genuine and authentic. And it's really no comparison. This one is head and shoulders above Squatch's Bow Chicka Wow Wow. Point for Sudsy Bear and it's not even close. All right, round nine, Dr. Squatch's Drunken Pumpkin versus Sudsy Bear's Twisted Pumpkin. Okay, so like in round eight, Dr. Squatch added some fragrance to this soap, whereas Sudsy Bear, they added authentic ingredients. But here's the issue for me personally. I don't really like the smell of pumpkin. When I first learned of Drunken Pumpkin on Squatch's website, I did not think I was going to like this scent at all because I don't like the smell of pumpkin. I don't want a soap that smells like pumpkin. But what Squatch did was they added a fragrance that doesn't smell identical to pumpkin. It smells something similar, but it, they added some type of cologne scent to it, and it smells really good. Now, Sudsy Bears does smell much more authentic. This smells like a piece of pumpkin pie. And a lot of people rave about how much they love this bar, and that's fine. I can see why. But me personally, I don't like that scent. I don't want to smell like, like a piece of pumpkin pie. <laughs> that's just me. If you want to smell like, like a piece of pumpkin pie, then go ahead and get Twisted Pumpkin. But for me, I really like Dr. Squatch's Drunken Pumpkin better even if it doesn't smell as authentic as Sudsy Bear's version. So in this case, it's really up to you which you prefer. So I'm not going to say that Drunken Pumpkin is a superior bar to Twisted Pumpkin, but I love the scent of this one, and I don't care much for this scent. So for me in round nine, for the pumpkin version, I have to give it to Dr. Squatch. But like I said, it's just my opinion. It could go either way. It really depends what you care about. If you care about scent, you may like Drunken Pumpkin a little more the way I do. But if you want more authentic ingredients, then you'll probably like Sudsy Bear's Twisted Pumpkin a little more. It's really up to you. But for round nine in the Battle of the Pumpkins, I gotta give it to Dr. Squatch. All right, for round 10, Dr. Squatch's Cold Brew Cleanse versus Sudsy Bear's Backwoods Brew. I said on a review that I thought Dr. Squatch's Cold Brew Cleanse actually smelled sweet. It actually smelled like cake batter to me for some reason. I do detect a slight coffee scent, but I think I detect a stronger scent of cream. Like I said, it smells like cake batter to me for some reason. It's not bad. It's pretty good, but it's not one of my favorites. The ingredients do look pretty good in here. I'll put it up close for you to see there. This is a good bar of soap. But, Backwoods Brew, this is on another level. This smells like I'm in a Starbucks right now. This doesn't smell like cake batter. This smells straight like grinded up coffee beans. 
So without a doubt, this is not even close. Sudsy Bear Backwoods Brew wins this round. They are both very good bars, but this one is just on another level. Similar to the Grapefruit, Squatch's version was really good, but Sudsy Bear's was just on another level. So it's round 11, time for the main event, the one you've all been waiting for. Dr. Squatch's Pine Tar versus Sudsy Bear's Old Forest Pine Tar. And these are two of the best soaps for both companies. Go ahead and sniff Squatch's Pine Tar first. Yeah, I like this. This is really good. Let's go ahead try Sudsy Bear's. This one's really good too. They're different. They're not quite the same. Both of these are really good. I think I prefer the scent of Dr. Squatch's version, but the ingredients on the Sudsy Bear version feel more authentic. I'm having a hard time deciding which of these I like better. So I prefer the scent of Dr. Squatch's, but I prefer the ingredients to Sudsy Bear. So I'm going to go ahead and chalk this one up to a draw. So after 11 rounds, Sudsy Bear wins 6, Dr. Squatch wins 3, and there are 2 draws. But in all seriousness, I wouldn't say Sudsy Bear is a lot better than Squatch. I think they're both really good. I would say Sudsy Bear is better in certain bars and Squatch is better in other bars. Overall, I would probably rank Sudsy Bear slightly ahead of Dr. Squatch just because their ingredients are so good. Squatch has a lot of bars with good ingredients as well, but Squatch also has more bars with compromised ingredients. And that's the thing with Sudsy Bears, there's no compromise on any of the bars. Like the Twisted Pumpkin, for example, it wasn't a lack of ingredients that I ranked it low. It was because I personally just, I don't prefer this scent, but the quality of ingredients is definitely there. The ingredients are in every bar, whether you like the scent or not, and you can't say that for every Squatch bar. It just doesn't seem to me they put a lot of time into the quality of ingredients in the Bao Chicka Wow Wow bar. It feels like this bar was rushed, and so did Freedom Fresh, and so did Area 51 Brick, and so did Cedar Citrus, and so do some of their other bars. They feel like they're rushed. But for Sudsy Bear, you're going to get high quality in every single bar, even if you don't like the scent, you won't complain from a lack of quality. So that is why I would rank Sudsy Bear slightly ahead of Dr. Squatch. So far, I have sampled 27 cents of Sudsy Bear and every single bar is high quality. Now, that doesn't mean I like every bar because some of the scents I really don't care for at all, but the quality of ingredients is there in every single bar. When you put Squatch's Bow Chicka Wow Wow against Sudsy Bear's Getting Lucky, it really looks like Dr. Squatch was just very lazy when making this bar. Whereas Sudsy Bear, you can tell they put time and effort into the ingredients. This one feels like they threw some pink dye and some fragrance on it and called it a day. But no, I'm not saying that every bar Sudsy Bear is better than all of the Dr. Squatch. There are Dr. Squatch bars that I prefer to Sudsy Bear bars, but overall, Sudsy Bear puts better ingredients into their bars. But for example, I haven't found a Sudsy Bear bar as of yet that I like as much as Squatch's Wood Barrel Bourbon. Maybe that'll change in the future. But Wood Barrel Bourbon is one of the best smelling soaps I've ever used. And I'll be uploading new Sudsy Bear reviews in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. And remember to click on the link in the description to get $5 off your next Sudsy Bear order. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Dr. Squatch, what you think of Sudsy Bear, and which one you think is better. What are your favorite scents from Dr. Squatch and from Sudsy Bear? Which ones do you like the most? Which ones do you like the least? You can agree with me or you can be wrong. The choice is yours. So that's about it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and... God bless.